Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are here again within the cursed estate and we are ready to fight the belligerent siren. Ready to push on forward and attack our next boss. I've got a team set out but I've not trinketed them yet. I thought it best to leave that uh, to do on camera with you guys considering it's a boss. But first of all we're going to jump in some diary entries that give some explanation as to why I'm bringing someone that we're bringing. And uh, yeah a few others as well. First of all we have one from IS this guy again and this is for William our privateer. A lot has happened since I last wrote in this old journal. I've, I've changed. There is no light way to put it. I've become one of those horrifying fishmen. My skin covered in scales. My fingers connected by some sort of membrane. I now have sharp claws and teeth and I can even breathe underwater. I went into the cove on my own and none of the monsters there attacked me. They even treated me like one of their own. So I went to get checked on by Isaac. And here and I had to assure him that it was me otherwise he would have mistaken me for one of those other sea monsters. He told me there was a cure for this disease, a hair of the ever-scarce sea dog. However, I don't want this cure. I'm going to use this new form to help my friends. And it will almost always serve as a reminder of my crew and the seas we sailed. Very, very good there. I love that backstory. Him having the um, pelagic embrace, it's, it's great. Um, but yes, as you can see here, can only be cured after beating the siren. Uh, very interesting. I like that idea a lot. And then we have another one here by Blank Gaming for Artemis, the Lamia. As you remember, Lamia, um, Artemis, sorry, did create the Golem Viola. Um, and then she, she said she hadn't been out for a while, but she ended up going out in the previous episode. And she said, I don't know whether the townsfolk are just that gullible or it's just that easy to lie. I made a deal with the wizard for him to change my features enough to be unrecognizable, but still keep my beauty. Then I just got some new clothes, slipped into the stagecoach while no one was paying attention, and introduced myself as Aline, a powerful sorcerer who believed violence isn't the answer to everything. I'll have to speak in a bit of a high-pitched voice around people, but besides that, everything should be fine and no one should be able to know who I am. And if they do, my, dear, my dearest Viola will make that person and the floor one in the same. Very, very nice. My god, so she's trying to keep herself hidden and unknown to some of the rest of the people here. Either way, I've upgraded everyone, so let's get into uh, into trinketing these guys up. So first of all, we do have quite a lot of healing here. Sven is coming out, because obviously he's the Oceanborn. Um, he's at level 6, good health. He's going to be kind of tanking, mainly going for the knockbacks and stuns here, which is going to pair really nicely with uh, this here, which is going to debuff stun resist. So very, very nice. So I think we're going to open up with... Um, main healing skill here on disinfectant which is going to up our disease and blight resist as well so i think on that we're going to go and buff up his um buff up his healing ability as much as we can um yeah we'll go with that 25 percent healing uh skill and 40 percent disease resist that's really really good and then we'll pair that with of course the let's just quickly sort by character class there you go and pair that with the syringe i think that's a really really good pairing there um Hmm. Actually, actually, this heals party. Maybe we take off the doctor's bag and put on the last light just for that little bit of extra healing across the board. I think that's actually a little bit better for us here. Uh, William's got some interesting stuff. We do have some of his trinkets. We're kind of going to be using him in a multifaceted way. We're not really going to be using him for anything in particular. Um... So let's let's take a little look at his skills here. We've actually got um, some very interesting trinkets for him here. So let's just take a look. So we're mainly going to be using him as a debuffer. We're going to be using Belay and Dissent uh, Cord. This is going to be debuffing damage, dodge accuracy, and speed and stun resist. But we also have in there the extra um, healing received and the heal with stress heal with the minus dodge and move resist. I think that pr that's pretty good, but let's take a look what we got here. So we can go with extra stress healing and healing with a bit of extra accuracy and damage is in, in position four. And we can go on top of that with that. Or friendly skill, buff party. Hmm. I think we, we do better off with going, first of all, going with the, the classic, wherever it is. I can't find it at the moment. Um, I have completely lost it. Where is it? I want to get the, the, little, the little doll. There it is. We go with the dolly because that is going to be on attack hit debuff target. And of course, these are going to be hitting everything. Um, these do count as attack hits. Well, this one definitely does. I'm not sure about this one because it's minus 100% damage. But this one definitely will. Um, so that'll be minus crit, uh, increased crits received. Sorry. Um, 
And then let's have a look what else might be good here. What else might be really, really good to apply to all the enemies? Is there anything else that we can hit on every single enemy? On melee hit, does that... does he, None of these would count as melee, would they? Of course not. Uh, Blight, of course, is going to be the primary source of damage here. But we could go with something like the... Um, the other head, I suppose. Like that. Extra bleed resist. Extra melee skill. Add. We, we, it's not really that good. So, we can go with a few different things here. We could go with prop. We could go with... Just checking what we got here. So, we could go with prop. We could go with damage. And try and make it more damage heavy. Um... We could go with more healing, although I doubt we're going to use his healing all too much. Uh, this one here is kind of just a backup heal that we won't use tons. I suppose what we could do, actually, is go... Yeah, let's go with that. And then let's take off this and put on that. Just as a little bit of extra damage. We are getting minus 40% damage in that position. But we are getting most of that back with the plus 30% damage in position 4. So, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, this should be a pretty good combo for him here. Then, Dr. Henry Jekyll, of course, he is going to be our main damage dealer. So, we are going to beef up his damage as much as we can. I don't think we have any trinkets specifically for him. Um, so, let's have a little look, see what would, what would go best. So his accuracy is pretty bad, so I reckon actually maybe we go like this and do focus ring, because he does have hasty and finisher, which is extra speed and crit after first round. Gotta remember he's stalked though. Um Right. Let's have a little look see here. What's the other crit? I suppose we could go with this for the extra crit and then just basically stress healing. Let's try that out. Let's try that out. It's a bit of an odd setup, but I think that could be pretty good. And then Sven here, I don't really know, because Sven's got some interesting moves. He's got this guard ability, which is going to be very, very useful. Um, we could just up his prop and go for, like, really high prop. Got to remember we're fighting the Siren, though, so... Ooh, actually, that's a very good point, actually. Maybe we don't want to bring Henry because we are fighting the Siren. Very, very good point. Um, yeah, let's not bring let's not bring Henry because he is gonna hit real hard, uh, and that's gonna that's gonna lead to some major problems for everyone else if he gets taken. Uh, so what what should we give you? You you've not got great damage or crit or anything. I think yeah, we set you up with the husband's heart for the even more prop, just just to keep you going, and you're gonna be stunning a lot of things. So is there, is there anything we can tag on to? buff that stun chance hmm or like do you know what actually i know what we'll put on you i've got a great idea let's go with this minus two speed minus 10 damage extra prop when we get hit we blight i think that's fantastic on you and then yeah henry i i had i had you pegged for someone that'd be really good for this mission but thinking about it more and more i actually don't think you fit in too well into this mission um, just due to the fact that you, um, you'll end up hitting so hard that I think you'll cause some issues. We could bring Jack along with us. Yatsu could be a pretty good one. Weed out and everything. Um, Kaminari could also be good. Angel, uh, Angela, sorry, could be good. Urku could be interesting. Urku's got some hard hits too, but again, we don't want someone that hits too hard. Because that will affect us negatively if that person gets taken. Um... Hmm. Protocol could also work here, but this is a level 5 mission. I don't want to risk Protocol coming with us, I don't think. Uh, I think I'm going to bring Jack. I think Jack would be... Jack's going to fit in quite well into this. Um, and he pretty much is going to take the same role. Let's just take a little look here what he's got. Um, minus healing skill. That doesn't really matter. Minus 10 accuracy after the first round. That's pretty bad. Uh, let's definitely get that on you then. And then you've got... Extra scouting chance in the curve, which is nice. Got some okay stuff there, right. Uh, and then your move set, you're mainly going to be using Flashing Blade, uh, which gains buff against humans, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, 
You've got a good repurst as well. Sadly, we don't have anything that buffs repurse across the board, I don't think. We could go with this for just the extra accuracy and... Yeah, let's go with that with the accuracy and damage. And I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Uh, the one thing I will say, we're low health across the board here. But we should have enough healing to offset that. So let's go into provision screen and try this out. Let's grab everything we can. Um, someone did say we're not the richest person in the world. So I should stop taking absurd amounts of... Um, of, of things. So I'm going to limit myself because you are right. We're not supposed to be rich as heck. We should try and limit ourselves somewhat. I'm going to bring Loudenum just because he's got this. Uh, just to keep that in our inventory. And I will bring all the torches. Torches and food I'll bring all of. But everything else I'm limiting myself. I will take one more of each of these though. And let's uh, let's go. I think we're ready. I think everyone's in, in a good position. Um, I think everyone's able to do exactly what they need to. Right. <sighs> Let's let's go ahead. Under the blood moon I lured my wide-eyed prey to the pier's edge. Before she could properly appreciate her position, I clamped on a manacle chaining her to the leering idol. A small push was sufficient to send both into the icy waters. And when at length the tide receded, jewels of the most magnificent grandeur lay scattered upon the shore. Interesting. One thing I did forget to do here, which is definitely a shame, I forgot to see if Jack was I fully upgraded. What became so Jack is using level 4 gear, wave. that's not great. Right, we're just gonna head all the way straight to it. We should be fine, we should be fine. It's, it's a small mistake, but we should be okay nonetheless. And of course Jack is coming here to um, in radiance, to fight for Kronos, because that's victory. where this is where he died, and he wants his revenge. But everyone here should be pretty good. Everyone here should be pretty good to go. I think we have a, a very interesting setup that should lead to some uh, some interesting interactions. We've been doing really well recently as well, building teams that interact with each other very positively. First fight, and we have um, this guy, the Savage. I don't think I've seen this enemy before. I've seen the other version of the crab, but I've not seen the Savage version. Um, let's lower accuracy straight away. Okay, did resist that debuff. Try and kill you straight off the bat. And, yeah, free action. Let's go, crab man. Let's do it. And we can start going for this. Even with high stun resist, we can we should be able to stun. Yeah, there you go. Really good stuff. Seaward slash coming in. That's a that's a big hit actually. A big hit. Uh, I think we just go for the party heal. It's good healing. Plus on top of that, you got to remember we're getting that disease and blight resist and prop all across the board. Very very necessary. This is why you can bring people with slightly lower HP here. A little bit of a big hit there, but shouldn't matter too much. Uh, I'm going to go for this again. There we go. Crits received and everything. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah, this is going to be a good team, I think. I think these guys are ready. Nice dodge. Being that size, I'm not quite sure how you dodged, but I, I'll accept it. You get back and stunned. We're going to be able to do that action quite a lot to get those stuns off, which is really nice. The pinch coming in. This is a high, high bleed. 10 over 30. Uh, sorry, 10 over 3. Very, very high bleed. Um, we don't have removal of bleed, so... What sort of damage is that doing? Okay. Uh, I think we just go for this again, because this will kill the bad guy. And plus 12 crits received is fantastic. We're definitely going to remove that. And crits received, we're going to go for it. Yep. Even with this guy's prop, we should be able to hit him relatively hard. But we'll keep on them going with those buffs here. We might want to try and get some blight on this guy in a moment, though. We we'll go for the pinch again, because that should stun. Ah, not quite. It's okay. But this guy has minus damage, minus dodge, minus accuracy. There you go. He already missed. We're seeing it coming in. And then this time, we can go for the blight. Good hit. Right, um, I think we carry on with this. It's so powerful. As long as we get the debuff on, massive crits received, as you can see. When paired with someone that's got high crit chance, very, very good. Keep going for that pinch. 
I could go with a damage. In fact, I might start buffing up our damage reflection because that works, works really well. Uh, nice dodge yet again, lowering that accuracy. This is why this group works so well. Because we're lowering accuracy and everything. And it's working out fantastic. Uh, let's keep going. Another crit. That's three in a row. So we should be managing stress very easily here. Nice. Pushes you back and stuns you. Does make some small issues for us, but William can finish, I think. Yeah, William, you can finish, can't you? You're on one HP. Go for it, William. Nice one. Awesome. As you can see, very good stuff going on here. One moment, guys. Just slightly lowered the volume there of uh, Darkest Dungeon, just so it's not quite as intrusive when we're getting... I've noticed a few of the a few of the sounds, especially from William, are very loud. And I'd, I'd rather just lower the whole volume of the game rather than going through a strenuous editing process. <laughs> no, thank you. I will not be doing that. Oh, we found a treasure other. Um, if we can hit him with this, this is great. Yes, we did. This is really good. Um, it, oh, it didn't even debuff him, though. Sad times. Damn it. I'm going for some, some strange plays here. Uh, what sort of damage is this going to do? Not enough. There's not much point. Let's go for the pinch because then we can hopefully get the uh, the stun. It's going to knock him back, but yes, there you go. That stun is really good because it means that he doesn't do his getaway straight away. He ain't going to get away from us. Shank coming in. Shank hits hard. Shank does hit hard. Uh, we will get rid of that. I'm going to set up our repose here, actually, because it gives us a block, and I think that's pretty important for us. As you can see, it proved itself to be very important there, and we re retaliate with Blight. Nice hit. Blanket fire again with the repose. Pretty good. We definitely want to go for the AoE heal here. Um, I think you're the most annoying enemy to get rid of, so let's get rid of you. Bad person to aim for, dude. That's more blight on you. Oh, you did resist it, actually. Cover me. He's going to go for his massive increase in dodge. Let's push you back and bring you forward one. Definitely want to go with this here. Very necessary. Healed everyone up for a very nice amount as well, actually. we got one more chance to get this treasurer. I'm not super worried if we don't get him, but it would be nice. That's actually the perfect person for you to go for, because you just got hit from that. And yeah, there you go, we got him. Definitely go for the heal again. This is great healing. Um, the, the last light candle is so very powerful. And you've gone for the wrong person again, my dude. If you'd have, if, if you'd have hit him then, that would not have been good for you. A slight hit on William there, but that's okay. And yeah, our, our game plan with Sven especially is very, very generic. We just kind of do the same thing each turn, but it works so very well. We're just going for hits now because there's only one guy left. Again, you've made a mistake there, fool. Oh, you didn't get blighted though. The blight chance must be kind of low. He's 120%. That's pretty pretty good. Yes, one more heal to get in there. Get everyone to full health for the end of battle. It's always great when you can do that. Um. So I never realized this activates repose as well. So we can activate repose here. Ah, unfortunate miss. I love that whiffy pistol sound, but there you go. The radiant bell. Ooh, we got immune to death by Crimson Curse. I'm pretty sure we already have that. It's not even that good, to be honest, but um, I will indeed take it. I'm going to get rid of them. I will take it because it's a legendary trinket, so why not? Or very rare, should I say. Uh, let's carry on forward. That was an unexpected fight. We are very much heading straight there. Um, ooh, we got ourselves a, a Miko. Mako, even. These are new enemies uh, that we haven't fought before. Very difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> I will tell you that now. I think I just used the wrong thing. Honestly, minus nine speed is pretty great. I'm not going to complain about that. You got the crits received as well. Nice hit, and it's a crit as well. But yeah, this guy could do some damage. He's going to pull us around and everything as well. I think I'm going to try and pinch him and... Uh, He's got very low stun resist, actually, so pinching him might be the perfect idea right now. Oh, no, really? Unfortunate. Okay, so this is going to hurt. But he hit the perfect person for him to hit. He did bleed us, but that's okay. 
The barnacle barrier coming out. We were expecting it. Right, let's go like that. Now this guy's got some debuffs on him. Look at all those debuffs. Wow. That's a lot. Okay, this guy, he has actually barriered the worst possible person for us, to be honest. I think we just go for the kill on you, because you're going to be a pain in the ass. We don't need the healing quite yet. Okay, if we can get the stun on you. Yes. Perfect. Get us rid of that guard. We needed that. It's coming in with the hard to starboard. Okay, that's going to be a lot of prot. Yeah. Buffed his prot up to 60%. You're dead next turn, I think. As you can see, this guy has 137 health. It's insane. But we're going to keep lowering his stats over and over again and increasing the crits received. Just meaning that he can't hit us. Wow, that's a huge hit. That's a huge hit right there. Definitely going to get rid of that. Um, Yep, we're going to do this here. Might stun us, but it heals us for nine. And then we'll go for that as well. That was a, yeah, that was a big hit. We definitely want to get this guy stunned. I'm hoping, damn it. 90%, I thought it was 60. I must be looking at someone else. Oh, I think he's buffed his stun resist actually with something. He has extra damage versus bleeding as well, which is bad. We, we, we really just want to be using this to lower his accuracy and make sure he doesn't hit us. That's very important for us right now. Keep going on the uh, on that. It's going to increase our prot over and over again, too. Troll. I've not seen this attack before. Nice dodge. We don't need to see it. Nice hit on this guy. This guy's prot isn't going to go away either, is it? We, we need to deal with this guy in the back, actually, because the problem with the guy in the back, that's a nice crit, is he can keep protecting this guy. He can keep guarding him over and over again if we don't take care of him. And he's also just quite healthy and can bleed us and... Bleeding us is really, really bad because it's going to ripple out and cause him to deal more damage to us. While he's stunned, let's just go for it. Yeah. There we go. That was good. That was good. That was a very good turn for us there. We're comboing quite well. We're stopping them from getting any moves on us. Minus 30 accuracy. Beautiful stuff. Keep that going. Play those tunes. Probably not going to get the stun this time around, but we, we go for it anyways. We need to keep in our crab form anyways to keep our prot and everything up. Um, light on this guy. That should be very, very near to a kill. Yeah. Okay, that's a kill. Our, our blight kills him now. This makes us a lot easier. This is going to hurt again. Oh, nice dodge. That's where that accuracy down makes sense. Oh, damn. Little bit of stress there from the, um, the Pelagic Embrace. That's okay. Minus 40 on all of them. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's mark ourselves. Hopefully, he starts focusing on us now. And we go with that um, reflected damage. I think that's going to help out. Oh, he, he has got some nice Blight Resist there, apparently. Had that, but that is even more buffs coming out there. Just keep lowering all those stats. 18 crits received. Get that stun. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Beautiful. God damn, the prot is taking so long to get through his hearty exterior. There's that blight, though. That's, that helps a lot. Stun's going to take care of him. We have a good build for taking care of these guys, but you can see that these enemies are chonky. They take a while to go down. He's incoming. Let's see what we end up getting here. Really feeding frenzy on this guy. Okay, nice dodge once again. I'm pretty sure that would have healed him if you'd have managed to pull that off. There we go. And Jack finishes it too. Brilliant. Well done, Jack. Well done, Jack. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Oh my god. So yeah, we're as you can see. We're on level 5 missions now, which means some of the um, some of the more hearty enemies are available to spawn. And as you can probably see, some of the more hearty enemies are a bit crazy. I should have got rid of the citrine there. I didn't realize I had citrine in my inventory. 
Okay. This isn't too bad of a grouping. Um, definitely go with that straight off the bat. This guy's got repose. That's okay. <sighs> really on Jack? Please don't stun him. Ah, you bastard. That's our main damage right off the bat. Gone. Um, I think we just do this and get you out of there. Yeah. You can stop being annoying. You, this should be a pretty quick kill for you. Wow. Wow. Okay, that's not great. Pushing him forward, bit of extra damage. Oh, okay. This is some this is some spicy stuff going on right now. This is a this is a bit of a bit more problematic grouping than I thought. No one's taking debuffs either. You gotta go like right away, dude. Oh, I don't know what I just did there, but I did not mean to do it. Whoopsie. I did not mean to do that. I think I just lowered his speed by a ton. Yeah, I did. Fuck's sake. Okay, him being protected is bad. Why did I not just stun him? That would have made so much more sense. I'm making some mistakes right now, I will admit. I just made a healing mistake, then a stun mistake. Nice dodge. There's the debuffs we're looking for. Right, there's the heal we're looking for as well. We needed that. When you're fighting these guys, these guys have a lot of diseases that they can give you, so open our disease resist and getting the heal. Very important. Kale up, guard again. Okay. Nice. We need to take care of this guy, really. The paralyzing uh, stinger. Pretty annoying. Resisted the stun as well there. Jack is constantly a target here as well. We might want to make sure we prioritize... Um, nice. We might want to make sure that we prioritize starting off marking ourselves. Let's do this again. We need that, we need that protection. Uh, marking ourselves so that we get hit a lot more than everyone else. I think that's a, a good idea because, yeah, we really don't want to get prioritized by this sort of stuff. Good. You're almost dead. The Blight's doing a good job against you. Care look. That should take the... Oh, he can, he can guard multiples. Good to know. Nice dodge, Jack. Well done. Another nice dodge. That accuracy down is helping us so, so much. Yeah, I think setting up this is going to be something we should do more often. The damage reflect is lovely, but marking it's going to mean that everything blights itself, but it's also going to take uh, att attention off of some of the people that we don't want to have attention on. Okay, this guy's dead to this now. Oh, no, he's one HP off dead to that. That's going to be some bleed there. Taking a lot of bleed on Jack, but we do have a cure bleed, so we can use that if we need to. More Kel up there. Just finish you off. Stop you being a pain in the ass. Right, uh, yeah, let's, oh, we can't kill bleed off you, that's fine, that's fine. Just go for the heal then. Okay, yep, you've targeted the exact wrong person there. You resisted the bleed though, but you did get that reflected damage. Okay, good. A crit shocker, it's gonna be a guaranteed stun. Shame, hate to see it. Bit of extra stress for everyone. That's okay. Um, nah, we go. We carry on with this. It's too good. Minus forty accuracy and damage and everything on this guy's great. So the the order of which we've killed things here has definitely not been the actionable order. A hundred percent. We should have done it other way other ways round. But oh well. Everyone's full health. We're lowering our stress bit by bit. So it's okay. We've got that disease resist, so Brian really doesn't affect us too much. Brian is really there just to add diseases rather than to do damage. It, it can do damage, but it's more there as something to just add diseases, I think. Nice crit. Guy's almost dead. One more hit and you'll be done. Good, good. A little bit more bleed on you. Uh, how much more floor have we got? Uh... But a victory, Three more rooms. I think we camp here. Yeah, let's camp here. See what we got going on for camping. In tenuous firelight, 
So you've got companionship. extra. Oh, that's that's really good, actually. That's really good. So I think we go with that most likely. Let's have a look what everyone else has got. Um. Oh, but for some reason you have nothing. I don't have anything unlocked as you. Honestly, that's fine by me. There's nothing else there that super interests me, so I'm okay. <laughs> Otherwise, that would have been kind of upsetting. Um. Okay. I think, honestly, Ronin's going to be our main one. So we go like that. We go like that. We go like that. Ronin, you're just doing everything. There you go. And why the hell not get rid of that bleed? There you go. Ronin's just got a ton of extra buffs. The path is clear. Oh! We require only the strength Thank God that wasn't good because I did not mean to use it on you. I meant to use it on Jack. Stupid me. Right. Thank God it didn't Another give the good buff. Another right. 60, 80, 70, 75. I think we need to reorganize these guys, don't we? Yes, we do. We're almost there. We're almost ready. Just got to remember, we are going to take some hefty hits here because we do have the siren stealing our members. That's what she does. Not much we can do to get away from that. We just gotta hope she doesn't take Jack. Everyone else we're kind of okay with. It's just Jack that's the main problem. Right. Oh, this is a new enemy. Um, plated Urchin. I'm gonna guess the Plated Urchin is gonna re uh, repurse, maybe? Seems spiky. Shocker coming in on Jack. Thank God for dodging that. Uh, so yeah, I think this time we, we do this. In fact, no, 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 not this time, because this guy needs to die as soon as possible, otherwise he'll explode. But stunning him and delaying that by a round is very important, yeah. That was necessary. I put the skill on not knowing what it did. I need to take that off. I thought that was against the enemy. Ow. No blight, though, it's okay. Shocker, Jack needs to they need to leave Jack alone. Please don't stun him. God damn it. <laughs> they will not leave him alone with those stuns. Luckily, we keep getting those debuffs going. And you keep getting that going on you too. Don't know what exactly this thing does, but I'm going to try and stun it. Spikes up. I'm guessing this is the repurst. Yes, it is. Okay, this thing's almost dead. It's going to go for a stun on Alex. He's going to resist it, though, because he's cool. Yes. <laughs> I'm just making that up, and it works. The repost is pretty... Ooh, that's a pretty hearty repost, honestly. Nice kill. That's a pretty hearty repost. I'm glad we did that. As victories mount, Contents are yours. So Lovely. Resistance. Right, this is the boss, so we want to go with... Let's just get rid of that real quick. Make sure everyone is healed all the way up. We might have one more fight before this, so... Not say anything too soon. Um, yeah. That is... That's just healing, isn't it? It's not going to do anything otherwise, other than that. Okay. Good stuff. Sven, you can go for that. Right, we are ready. We are good to go, looks like. Um, let's see, let's see. So, anything you want to do to prep? I don't really think so. I think we're pretty much good to go in. Um, pretty much play this exactly as I, as I hope to. Okay, let's go in. Here's the siren. And of course, the instantly take Jack. Fuck's sake. God damn it. Instantly take Jack. Don't do it, Jack. Please don't do it. Yes. Okay, that's good. We can't do AoE stuff now, but that's that works out better. One thing I didn't think about is the positioning of this all. Of, like, how he's going to end up getting thrown to the back. I think he gets thrown to the back, at least. That was good. And a stun. That was very good. I think he, she does have double actions, but still, that's really nice. Oh, unfortunate miss there. How do you miss on something that's stunned? Let me ask you that. 
Yeah, she's getting out there with that extra damage. Dude. She stood right there. That's the stress coming in. I think you're coming back next round, right? Well, you come back with your with your repulse. That's a that's a hard hit there. Pressure crash again. That's okay. Let's start going for the healing now. Buffing up our protection. Got another one of them going for the crit and another stun. That's fantastic to start here. Okay, yeah, we did get him back and it did do exactly what I thought it would, which is a real shame. I did not think about this when I arranged this party, I have to say. Luckily, he can jump forward multiple spaces at once. So it's not as big of a deal. Right, get that on you. Oh, your debuff resist is 80, okay. Alexander, mm, I don't know how bad he's going to be for us. Ah, oh, unfortunate dodge there. We at least have Alex now. Ah, oh, another dodge. Wow, she has high dodge. More pressure crash. Really, that absorbs the block? Are you kidding me? What are you going to do? Okay, you go with the cyanide injection. That doesn't affect us too much. It does debuff us a little bit, but not too bad. Don't want to go for a purse because we don't end up hurting ourselves. What does High Tide do? Ah, oh, okay, that spawns you. Okay. We're just going to get rid of you for now. Oh, what? That didn't stun you? God damn it. Really hoping that would. Okay, we get Alexander back. Right, while there's no one over there, we want to be debuffing. Damn, she is really resilient to these debuffs. That might have been a bad idea. Song of Desire on you could be problematic. It did blight you, though. Good. Finally, you hit. Thank you. Nice. The shocker missed. Another big hit. We're doing well. I don't really know how how, I, how we're going to face against Crab here. We're, we are getting very stressed out. I'll say that for sure. Oh, really? Another miss? Her dodge is so high. Her dodge is so, so high. Alexander, we need you on the heel here. What are you going to do? That's fine by me. It's fine by me. In fact, all you're doing is buffing us up for later. Okay. Devour's going to hurt. Doesn't hurt as much as I thought it would, but it still hurt. Definitely heal the team here. Looking good. Crab's coming back. This turn, I think. Pressure crash again. Not too bad. Stress is getting high, but not, not terribly high. Don't know what having you in the back is going to do, really. Uh... I think we just mark ourselves and stay in the back. The stuns are really nice, but we don't need them. Keep going for the damage, honestly, dude. Working out. We should really take take care of this jellyfish, dude. He's a problem. Okay, you're taking him again. That's good. Stops from repositioning stuff. That's a good, good crit. We definitely go for the heal next turn, though. Pressure crash. Nice dodge. That's fantastic news. Right, this time let's get rid of you before you get protected. Nice hit. What are you going to do? Shielding shell. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. We have to do everything we can to avoid hitting either of these people now. So, you set up guard stance. Repose is not good against these guys, but... Well, I kind of is she because she does AoE, but... Yeah, I like that. And that didn't get rid of the block either. We definitely need to buff, buff up our light here. Do that. Good, good. Okay. Stress is definitely getting out of hand, but that's how it's got to be. Yeah, you're not getting debuffed, so I'm just shooting right at you and hoping for the best. You stole crab again. You kind of know what you like. You know your, you know your type, don't you? You want the sea creatures on your side. You, you like getting down with crab people. Oh. He turned back. That's not good. <laughs> now you've got a little child next to you. That's not what you want. Honestly, just buff up prop. Try and st stress relief. 
Nice hits. 34 HP remaining. This is great stuff. High tide. Another one of these guys. He's going to get a turn straight away as well. Yep. Shocker coming on Jack. Does he block the stun though? No, he does not. No, he does not. I didn't think he did. Good damage. What are you looking to do? Cheers. <laughs> we brought out a pretty good team for this, actually. We did. There's that block. No repose, though. We got the block. Um, honestly, just keep on going with this. It's working out right now. Pressure crash again. Nice dodge. Okay, so now I think we go rep I think... Now let's do this. No debuff again, but this does debuff you. We go for the damage on you. Four HP remaining. Shouldn't matter. We should... If, as long as we don't get misses here, we should get the kill. That might get us the kill right there. Yep, that got, that got us the kill. Don't do anything stupid, my dude. There you go. Embrace the sea. Have fun. Alright, it's still your turn, though. Tidal slam. Good lad. Good lad, William. Seafaring trade. The lifeblood of any Gone. port. Can resume again now that the roots are safe. Beautiful stuff, people. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Hair of the sea dog. And we have completed. Return to the hamlet. Feeling very, very good about how that went. It was a bit risky. A bit come and go. But I feel pretty good about that. And we got ourselves this for the Jester, Recovery Charm, and for the Duelist as well. Everyone makes their way to level 6 here. Very, very nice. Great work from everyone in the team there. Very well done. I see something long absent in the sunken faces right. of passersby. Let's quickly remove our trinkets. Of hope. And let's get some people in, because they definitely, definitely want to, uh, want a stress relief here. So you want to go pray to a higher power. And William's definitely going to want to drink. Good, good, good. Right. That's good for them, too. Let's check our stage coach, see if we've got anyone new. Um, nope, unfortunately not. We do not have anyone new today. And here, we don't have any good trinkets. Hmm, nothing really super great there. But anyways, we've got two more diary entries to end this off. Uh, this has been a good episode so far, though. First of all, a diary entry for Artemis the Lamia, yet another one. This diary entry was left right in the open, so anyone could have just found it. When I asked my sorcerer friend group in, uh, in where I could go to clear out the corruption, I had my expectations low, but this town is just terrible. Oh well, at least there's corruption to cleanse. The town folk seem quite on edge. I know. We could just uh, have to. We could just have a play uh, done at the at the theatre to ease the mood of it. It won't make them all happy in one go, but it will take their mind off whatever situation they're currently facing or having already faced. This part is um, written after her most recent expedition. She left out in the open. Our adversaries were great, but stood no chance against our collective might. My only concern was that one fellow, Marcus, throughout our adventure, he was turning into several different creatures, mostly a half-bat human hybrid. He states his intentions appear, but I'll still keep my guard around him. Both these are signed by Elaine. Interesting. And then we got one last one again from uh, Blank Gaming for Marcus the Voyevaird. I've been here for a while, and finally I was sent out on my first quest. I'm not complaining about the wait, though. Four heroes going on an adventure every week seems to be the sweet spot. Any more, and the san sanitarium, abbey, and tavern probably couldn't cure all the illnesses or half-mad people. To get back on track, I've started figuring out what my powers do. Before, I could, uh, I, I continued ri um, writing. It's for the best. I, uh, I first write... Whatever disease I could, uh, I have, is apparently not a curse. It, sorry, I, I messed that up a little bit there. It's still uncurable, and I still feel hungry without blood. But my hunger is not lethal, and any blood saturates me. The disease I have lets me transform into several different creatures, but I mostly stuck to the form that I was most e that was most easy to maintain: a half bat, half human. In that form, I could create sound waves that somehow only affected our enemies. 
sound wave bounced off whatever we could see, alerting us of their presence, and the sound also seemed to hurt the enemy's ears, lowering their coordination. Another thing I could do was suck the life force directly out of the enemies. Uh, the final ability that I explored was not part of the transformation. If I got in between an enemy and an ally, the darkness would protect my ally and I would fight back when attacked. When I first used these powers, I was quite scared, but also really excited. But it seems like I'm scaring my friends pretty bad too. Especially that newcomer, Elaine was, a, Elaine was the name. She was really hesitant to let me protect her when she was getting hurt quite badly. But she seemingly calmed down after she saw I had no ill will. I should be careful when using my powers though. Not everyone is fit to see a regular old human transform into a half bat and start screaming at its adversaries. <laughs> I love that image. Either way, very, very good episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.